Thank you, Madam President. The security of healthcare workers is crucial for ensuring uninterrupted service delivery during crisis. Nurses and healthcare professionals are on the front lines, risking their lives to provide essential care. Protecting these individuals is an ethical obligation and a fundamental component of maintaining public health and safety. In our interconnected world, when armed conflict targets hospitals and ambulances, the disruption of healthcare services in one region can have far-reaching consequences for the global health security. These attacks facilitate the spread of diseases through declines in vaccine and routine vaccinations documented as high as 55% for diseases like polio and measles, hindering our efforts to control epidemics and costing the global economy billions of dollars. The World Health Organization reports that countries hosting conflict-affected and vulnerable populations account for 70% of cases of epidemic-prone diseases and 60% of preventable maternal deaths. Adding to the tragedy, the estimated 10 billion, 10, excuse me, 10 million projected global shortage of healthcare workers, particularly nurses, exacerbate the vulnerability of health systems in crisis. We urge member states to enforce stronger protections for the healthcare workers and to implement effective measures to secure healthcare facilities from attacks. No society can rise from the rubble of conflict without a resilient healthcare system to support its recovery. It is imperative that we establish safe zones around healthcare settings and ensure the safety of humanitarian health workers by enhancing legal frameworks and fostering the international community. Thank you.